Kylan as a baby would have been a very happy child, very smiley. Um, as he grew up then and became a bit older, he loved to be independent, loved to play with his own things, loved to play with tractors, cars, trucks, anything to do with machinery, and Kylan was happy down on the floor playing with them. And he pretty much still is that to this day. He'll still do the same thing and loves to be independent. Yeah. At first we kind of thought that Kylan, he was a very independent child. He always done everything for himself. And we had kind of got, he didn't need to talk at the start. But then we started to realize that there, there is an issue. He's not talking and he would get aggressive if um, if you didn't understand what he was saying. He'd say it once, you'd say, say it repeat, and he was getting cross. And then you'd start to realize really, I suppose, that yeah. there was something up in his feet. looked into, yeah. Pink. Wow. You're on the waiting list for 12 months and when you start yeah. the public system. It was all waiting list like so it's, it, it's been a long journey. I thought we'd never get out of it, but we're we're finally getting getting, getting there. When you walk into Sensation of Kids, it's like you're going into friends, like the everybody, all the girls, they're so friendly. The big smiles on their faces when you walk in the door. They're very bubbly, very bubbly. Yeah. And just very even very in the in the room with Elaine, it's just such a warm, colourful room for a child. Like not like the, a room you go into in a medical centre. Yeah. So I've been seeing Kylan since November last year. So when he came to me, he had lots of difficulties with his speech sounds. I mean, his mom wanted to bring him to, I suppose, figure out what the difficulties were specifically, and was there anything that could be done to help him and I suppose help him to be understood by others. So Kylan is a little boy that has lots and lots to say. Um, he's full of action and full of activity, but I suppose he was struggling to be understood by other people. And his mom was concerned that that was going to impact on his confidence. So we've been working lots and lots for the last couple of months and his mom is doing lots with him at home and he has made great gains. So at the moment we're working on go the go sound with him and he's really really doing well so I hope with another little bit of work from both myself and from mom I think he will make really really good progress and he's becoming a lot clearer he's becoming a lot more confident and it's wonderful to be able to see that oh no we ended up on number oh, <laughs> you can't climb up the snake <laughs> you, were, you were on 24 okay picked up two more clips So you're gonna to have to do three of them because you picked three. This one is a gorilla. Try it one more time. Gorilla. A gorilla who lives in my house. No, no, my house. Where does the gorilla live? In the zoo. You're right. And the last one. To work for a not-for-profit organisation is a really, really positive experience. We get the opportunity to provide intervention to families which I suppose that they mightn't access as quickly um, as they would in the public service. It's very good when they get it but unfortunately they don't always receive enough. So it's really wonderful to be able to work with children and see them, I suppose, see the progress that they make over time and sometimes we get to see them coming in the door with difficulties and sometimes going out the door with all the skills that they need to develop and to progress so it's a it's a really positive place to work and again i suppose it's wonderful to be involved in a new community here and it's great to be able to be of support to that community they've made clan kilty the first autism friendly town and we are very very much i suppose here to support all of that and it's just wonderful to be able to provide the service here with a fantastic state-of-the-art facility and a multidisciplinary team. Kyle will get up in the morning and look out the window and see is it wet or dry and the first thing they'll ask me is can we go outside today daddy? And he'll be out and he'll be the first one outside the door and to play with machine if it's wet but makes a shower he'll be out again anyway. Kylan was always a very active child very from active, day one. Yeah. Mm. And like now he has no issues at all, like he has totally changed. Kylan would be very much a happy child now to talk to you. He, you couldn't stop him talking like in a conversation. Just, it's just stop talking. questions, questions, questions. Like. 